Let's hope he's fully walled here. Oh, he's not fully walled. And we can actually get in. Yeah, there we go. We're already in. And now he's going to have some heaps of, heaps of problems. I mean, this is going to be a disaster. Oh, okay, I'm just terrible at this game. Fair enough. Clash of the new civs. Let's go, baby. But I actually, my civ is better, honestly, because I will have half of the year into dungeons, into into uh, sergeant rush. I think that's gonna be really good and hard to stop, because then he has to go hand cannon. He has to go all in gold composition. If he does that, I think sergeants are still okay versus hand cannons, because I take less damage, right? Maybe. Okay, that's my plan long term. But early game, we'll see how I'm gonna play it out. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Battle of the new civs. And these civs are right back and being strong. So before the game, I was talking about Burgundians. And uh, I just want to say hello, YouTube, to those watching there. This is probably going to get up there if it's a good game. Win or lose doesn't really matter. But, um, but yeah, so I was talking before the game. And we said, I think Burgundians' weakness is something that can go halberdier to shut down their early paladin play. Because I think that's where they are the strongest at the moment and I'm thinking Sicilians can do that just fine um, and get into, into sergeants uh, into halberdier and then get into sergeants later problem is the eco bonus for Sicilian is not uh, really existent too much for the early game it's more of a late game thing so I would say that Burgundians is probably better for the Arabia but I think my Civ could be better in some ways um, so we'll see how it plays out we'll see how it plays out I might just open a simple uh, Maybe even Scout Rush, honestly, or maybe Men at Arms. Maybe Men at Arms into full wall, or Men at Arms one range archer. Might be the best, just to force him into range units early. Because I, I don't, I, I don't want to let him play pure, uh, pure stable. The pure Cavalier all in is too strong, so I want to try and play to deny him that possibility. So maybe through Men at Arm archer, that makes sense. Okay, if I go Scouts, then he can simply go Scouts into Knights, and then Cavalier becomes a problem, and then it might get difficult. So. That's my idea right now. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And yeah, you could expect the Burgundians Builder uh, to drop in the May list uh, available for subs to my Switch stream. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll just leave a link to both my Twitch and my Discord in the description so you guys can get access to that. It will cost you $5 or you will have to get gifted a sub, which means you have to be around the Twitch scene. Um, but, you know, if, that, if that's the case, if you can afford that, you get access to all of my build orders. And that's enough advertisement there. I have something like 20 build orders and I add a new one every month. So definitely worth it if you're interested in getting better and you have an extra buck to spare. Um, and I think I really like the build orders overall because I get people messaging me for like private coaching and they're willing to pay something like $50 an hour. Uh, and I'm like... You know, I don't have the time to do to offer that, but if I can offer builders that helps a lot more people at once for a smaller price, I think that's uh, um, a better time value for me, even though I might pay a bit less. It's better in the long run for everyone. All right, how are you today? Rob Mayhem, I'm doing very nice. I'm doing very well. Not nice, very well. What's up, Dan Song? Hello, hello. That's what my wife makes tutoring math. Yeah, fifty dollars an hour is a great wage, though. Honestly, like, that's really solid. If I if I didn't have a successful stream, let's say we take Twitch out of the equation, and I wanted to still make a living off Age of Empires, I would one hundred percent do coaching. A hundred percent. It's such a good wage. Um, you can get a lot of people in um, in a day, and it's still relatively fun to do coaching. So um, I would one hundred percent do it. I just I enjoy Twitch so much more, and I. I make good money here uh, that I don't really, you know, I'm not really needing any any more for livelihood, you know what I mean? So, okay, he's gonna go Drush by the looks of things. He might try Drush of C. Okay, he's gonna go for a Drush here. So how I'm gonna adapt is I'm gonna mirror the Drush as well, or maybe go Men at Arms and then try to counterattack. attack. $50 is my personal training rate, it's pretty good. $50 an hour is probably half the rate you, ch you should charge. I, I feel guilty charging more than that though. I swear, people ask me, like people were messaging me saying, Literally name your price. Like I don't know if the guy's rich or if he has like a lot of money to, to spend on it. 
I got the email saying, name your price. And if you're watching this, the person who said that, I respect that. But I still had to decline because I, it just doesn't feel right for me, you know? I, I, don't, I don't feel like I can charge more than $50 an hour. Um, okay. I think I've only done that once, right? I, I, I took, uh, some guy paid me a lot of, uh, a lot of money and that was uh, way back in the day when I still kind of did coaching. So what I want to do here is actually lure, lure him in here. Yeah, we got a really good uh, setup there. I didn't click up for like 10 seconds for some reason. That was bad, but we get to the main gold now. I just sent three villagers and the plan is, okay. I mean, this is just misclick, misclick central. My plan is to stay one lumber camp. And I want to counter attack him as well. I actually want to do this. Okay, so now I'm going to counter attack him. Simple as that. Okay, and hopefully he's open now. And I'll invite him to run through there. I just don't think he's gonna, he's gonna have the balls for it. Did he go around? I actually, no, I'm not sure where he went. He might've went around. Just in case I'm gonna get a wall here though. So now let's hopefully, let's hope he's fully walled here. Oh, he's not fully walled. And we can actually get in. Yeah, there we go. We're already in. And now he's gonna have some heaps of, heaps of problems. I mean, this is gonna be a disaster. Oh, okay, I'm just terrible at this game. Fair enough. Yeah, okay, I'm just really, really bad at this game. Uh, that's a mistake. But these things happen. Mistakes do happen. Ideally, you want to get horse collar, but I can't afford it with this sieve right now. Okay. This is good, though. Wow, that's impressive. Good walls from him, honestly. That is a good play. That's just good play. That's impressive. I like that. That's just good play, Mr. Kapach. Um, he got the walls down. I wasn't able to do much. It started out by being, being bad, and then it just was him being good. And now I'm just trying to distract him as much as possible. I still did, like, I still caused a lot of chaos, if you think about it. And remember when I said at the start of the game, I just don't want him to play stable. If he's not playing stable units, I'm fine. And you can go, you can get away with pure archers here as well. Cause I don't really take that much damage from skirmishers. I'm actually gonna prepare a second wood line. Why not? I don't like that that guy's on the other side. Okay, on this side, mate. All right, now we'll go attack and I have Fletching with Fjord Archer. And honestly, he has higher score. I don't know where that's from, to be honest, because the game is pretty even now. Maybe his, uh, his eco bonus, his eco attacks kicking in. And this is actually what I want now at this point, just to clear these guys up. Just trap them. Simple as that. We can both play at that game, Mr. Kapach. He doesn't have Fletching, that's what that blacksmith tells me. He's only now gonna get it. Not gonna go for that one. I'm gonna go for these, this fill. Unless he fights me with non fletching archers, then we'll go for those. We'll get one vill for sure. Start working on the next one immediately. Force the fight. We're not playing on my server though. It's a bit laggy. I'm gonna go second range now. And the skirmishers don't matter for us. We don't take a lot of damage from them anyway. Okay, we killed one villain and we have a lot of pressure. He has a lot more now. 
But I'm gonna I'm gonna double down and actually get a couple scrims myself. Trying to really put the pressure on him here. I do like ideally I have horse collar, but honestly I just I can't I can't really afford it much. Uh, you, you'd much much rather get the units, uh, the units you need. You're missing some wood. Oh, we got some really good trades. He tried to do something nice there. I don't know if you guys picked up on what he tried to do, but it didn't work out. And now he's just gonna lose everything. So now we do a round of skirmishers to get like right back into the driver's seat in terms of pressure. And then we're gonna switch back to archers to put uh, to put pressure in terms of killing villagers as well. And again, we have the armor. We have he, he has armor as well now. At this point, when we can afford horse collar, at this point you have all, so many farms that you might as well just skip it. And he's just gonna get overrun here, actually. And Sicilian skirmishers are great, by the way, because they don't take bonus damage from their skirmishers. So, playing the style is actually beautiful. I don't know where he's getting the score. Probably auto scouting, but he's he's getting wrecked. Make no mistake about that. Um. Hey, probably did you know? Uh, Kapach is a warrior though. He'll he'll probably go on. I'm gonna try and go for that build. Maybe a bit too greedy for me. Didn't really lose my profit though. For some off gold, and now we should be fine. And honestly, I wish this game went on a bit more. Because, you know, I can showcase how Sicilians can be played late game, so if this goes on, that's fine. Okay. Alright, now we can back up, and now he's forced to play skirmishers. Remember, again, what I said at the start of the game. If I can play the game and force him to somehow end up with non-stable units, that is beautiful for me. I've done that, but not only have I done that, but I've actually forced him to play, uh, or forced him to play, uh, sorry, range units, but also he's taken some damage. So this is perfect for me. I'm gonna go archers, and then I'm gonna go knights right after. Okay, what is happening here exactly? Let's get horse color. My, my equal feels really weak, but that's just normal men at arm archer stuff, I think. Yeah, that's just general men at arm archer problems. Your equal's always terrible, <laughs> like throughout the entire game, and now I'll get horse color. And just uh, one scout to make sure he doesn't kill me with skirmishers or doesn't even bother me. We can counterattack right away with those. Ah, uh, we can get that upgrade, just put a bit more pressure. And as you can see, like, you might be wondering, yo, why are you not playing Dungeon Rush? Like, isn't that what the Civ is good for? But actually, the Civ uses in the early game its bonus where it doesn't take a bonus damage. Like, that's the bonus you're using from the Sicilians, where you take 50% less bonus damage. That's how you get through the early game. And then late game, you want to pick up the uh, obviously you get you benefit from the horse collar extra farms and or like the horse collar heavy flow in the mid game, so you have some sort of eco bonus for mid game. And then in late game, you start benefit, benefiting from Halb Siege or from the dungeon, which is where they're good at. They also recently got Siege Onagers, so that's a late game option for you. So um, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good sieve now, but I think Burgundians is slightly better. This game just played out perfectly for Sicilians to shine. But yeah, I think Meta Arm Archer is like the best builder for it. Just because of that whole scrim dynamic and GG's called. Pretty sick game. Sicilians are feeling not like they're dangerous now because I didn't use any of the of the late game options for them that. This is like standard Sicilians. But Sicilians now feel like they have a future as well. Personally, I don't really agree with the buffs that came in. I think they buff sergeants too much. Um, but this is how I'd recommend you play Sicilians. You open the game with men arm archers or drush archers. Anything that lets you play with archer or cap. You can open scouts if you want. Because then you make use of the, the bonus, which is you get 50% less bonus damage. And then late game, you obviously mid game, you make use of the farm bonus, as I already said, and the castle and town center is building faster. So you have two bonuses for mid game to help your boom. And then late game is where you start benefiting from the sergeants, which got buffed to, uh, they're like insanely beastly now, uh, especially in imp where they have 85 HP, 
four four armor. It's really strong. So yeah, Sardis were already a mega tanky against non cavalry subs. Now they're actually really strong. Yeah. So Sardis might be too strong now. I, I agree with that hearts. I don't agree with this buff. Sardis were already strong. I think if you want to keep Sardis like that, you have to take away their unique tech that give them 35 at once. I think that has to go now because Sergeants are simply too strong. So that's what I would say. I think Sicilians, you have to try to get through the early game by playing smart with their 50% less bonus damage bonus and try to get through the early game. But as soon as you can get to the late game, they can be a very deadly sieve. And especially on closed maps, I think we might see some Sicilians from now on just because their Sergeant plus SO help or Siege help will be really strong.